<laughs> All right, Eli, do you need to repeat on the question? Or? Yes, I was chatting with Matt about sharing the bike, so if you could repeat it, that'd be great. Not a problem. Most Republicans and certainly conservatives believe in free trade. What are your thoughts about using tariffs as economic weapons? Okay, well, what do I think about tariffs as economic weapons? It is absolutely valid, especially in the modern day, where economics is used as a tool of modern warfare. I do believe in free market principles, but as I said in that prior question about China, it is hard to have free markets when one side's cheating. You're playing a sport and someone else goes out and starts cheating, helping the other team. Do you really want to play that game fairly? You're gonna to have to actually say, no, we are setting the ground rules, we are enforcing the ground rules, we are going to have a fair game in this situation. So, tariffs. If we are using tariffs as a way to help equalize this unfair cheating that's been happening by these socialist countries in China, it is absolutely valid. Otherwise, for here in America, I do believe in providing free trade opportunities. Part of the reason why America has become such a profound success in the economics of the world, we support our businesses. We need to ensure that we continue to support our businesses and we protect them from unfair practices abroad. We also need to be sure we are having the best entrepreneurs here in the United States and when we have our intellectual properties being stolen and not being respected across the globe, that is another reason why it is fair to say you're not playing fair, we're going with the tariff route. And Donald Trump, it's been a bit controversial, but it's been a, fin a very good financial success. And I'm very much looking forward to helping support President Trump and continue to ensure that we demand fair economic practices throughout the world. Thank you, Eli. Matt? On its face, I don't like tariffs. Uh, I believe in free trade. I think free trade is very important. But the reality is, it's kind of like term limits. Intellectually, I'm against them because it takes away the right for you to vote. But in reality, it doesn't work. I mean, right now Congress has like an 11% approval rating, yet 98% of them get reelected. That's like going to a restaurant five times, getting food poisoning four times, and going back again hoping for a different outcome. It's just, it's not, I mean, it's just not reasonable. Um, I see what the president's doing. He is trying to level the playing field. Uh, China got brought into the G8, and they got uh, most favored nation trading status, I believe is the term. And the first thing they did, they artificially uh, lowered their, uh, their currency to unfairly compete with the United States, bless you. And, he, um, and so what that did is, that made manufacturing in China incredibly cheap. So all the American corporations jumped on top of that. And when they did that, we lost our manufacturing base. That's why you hear the terms thrown around Rust Belt, because all the manufacturing areas in our country now are decrepit and they're, and they're rusting. So that's, uh, that's a once around the world on tariffs. So tariffs can be used, they can be an effective tool. For example, um, when I was a police officer, I flew for the uh, aviation unit. We looked at uh, Eurocopter as opposed to Bell helicopter. And the prices that uh, Eurocopter could come out with was amazing because Boeing and Bell, they will stand on their own. They're private corporations that don't get any government funding. And yet Eurocopter is 35% of their their income comes from the government. The, the French government actually subsidizes that company. So it, it's, it's inherently a, a very, unfair playing field. Thank you. Thank you. Lynn? Can you repeat the question, please? Absolutely. Most Republicans and certainly conservatives believe in free trade. What are your thoughts about using tariffs as economic weapons? So I agree with all three gentlemen here that I don't think it's an economic weapon. I think our president did a great job drawing that hard line in the sand when it came to tariffs. And, uh, you know, he started, he did level the playing field, and that's exactly what we need for free trade. Um, you know, I don't really have a whole lot to add to all the arguments that have been made today, you know, as we've been sitting here, because, um, you know, the, it, just, it just is, you know. I mean, when... Can I Am I working now? Yeah. Oh, okay, good. Well, I don't know what you did. You had the magic touch. Anyway, so, um, <laughs> it's like my husband with the computer. He walks over and it starts working. Anyway, um, I just gave up all my time to say that. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> so, uh, so yes, the president's drawn the hard line in the sand. Tariffs work. We've seen the playing field level. You know, let's keep free trade going. I think it's a great start. You know, the president's done it in other areas when he, uh, you know, when when he drew the hard line in the sand over in Syria, and he's drawn the hard line in the sand from a military perspective. And this is a president who just continues to put America first, and those tariffs do put America first. Thank you, Linda.